Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your NAT type on your Xbox One to open. Coming up next in this Xbox tutorial. So if you're having problems on your Xbox One with your NAT type, you may be having problems communicating with people, otherwise playing with people with a strict or moderate NAT type. So the first thing that we can do to try to fix this is by pressing the guide button on our Xbox One, then going over to settings. Go down. Now let's go down to devices and streaming, then go over to Blu-ray. Then we're going to want to clear our persistent storage on our Xbox One. Let's go ahead and select A on this. Then clear your persistent storage, press the guide button again, go to settings, and completely restart your Xbox One. After your Xbox One restarts, press the guide button and go back to the settings menu. Then go to general and go to network settings. And let's go ahead and check our NAT type to see if it's open. Now, if yours is open right now, good job. If it's not, let's go on to step number two. So under the network page, let's go to advanced settings. Then go to alternate MAC address. And then go to clear. And this will restart your Xbox One. Once your Xbox One is restarted, go back to the network page and see if your NAT type is open. If it's open, that's great. Now let's go on to step number three if it is not. Go back to advanced settings, then go to alternate port selection. Then instead of automatic, let's go to manual. And there's going to be multiple different ports we can try on our Xbox One. So I have 3074 selected. Go ahead and try each one of these. And then go to continue and back out and see if you have an open NAT type now on your Xbox One. And one of these ports may open up your NAT type. And the next thing we will want to try is going to our wireless router and unplugging it for about two minutes. And then go to our Xbox One and hold the power button on the front of the console down for 10 seconds and it will shut off the Xbox One. Then go ahead and unplug the power cable from the back of the Xbox One and leave this unplugged for about two minutes. Now, after the time has lapsed, go ahead and plug in your wireless router and then your Xbox One. This will clear the cache on both your router and your Xbox, and hopefully, when you restart your Xbox One and log back in, your NAT type will be open after doing this. And if that doesn't work, you can go ahead and go into your router settings, and you're gonna wanna find like a guide to log into your router on like Google or something. And once you go into your router settings, you will want to enable UP and P. And that should open up your NAT type if everything else hasn't worked. And if this video did indeed help you out open your NAT type on your Xbox One, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox One help videos coming up next on Your6 Studios.